Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Frame Arms Girl and we have Jun Rai. Now for those who are not familiar or new to the Frame Arms Girl, it's basically a model kit of uh, Frame Arms which they've added the girl aspect to it. Kind of like the Armor Girls or AGP for Bandai where they have those Gundam Girls. Well, we have the Frame Arms Girls in this instance. So there's an actual Jin Rai Frame Arms and actually the color of that one is sand. A bit yellow, uh, not red, but uh, they've changed it for for this aspect. It's actually good. I've kind of want to have a different color variants of the Prime Arm Girls. It'll be odd if we keep seeing the same green uh, or blue. <laughs> and this one also, uh, just a new hairstyle. We have that long ponytail. Yep. So here's a box. Quite nice as always. This retails about 4,300 yen, right there, a bit expensive, and it does uh, showcase, which we'll go over, a uh, decal sheet. And uh, here's the different weapon set. There is a lot of weapons, yeah, and a lot of things to paint too. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, and uh, I have already... Uh, have her assembled. Uh, there are a few more things that I haven't actually cut out the runners yet. Uh, for instance, we have this one which uh, we've seen in a box art. Basically, this is kind of like an add-on uh, if you want uh, like a section of her where she's still dressing up. <clears throat> but uh, that's actually a fixed pose. I'm not too fond of it. I had uh, the first one with Gry. It's great, but after a while, I you want to be able to pose her. <laughs> Here's a decal sheet, quite nice. So to give you uh, the set of eyes again, uh, you do have this, which they've already pre-applied for you. And uh, I'm just gonna use the basic one. So this one's, uh, this one's looking uh, on her left, with the mouth open or shouting, and this one looking to the right, and that was just straightforward. So those are actually good, uh, sets of uh, faces and nice uh, decal sheet here just in case uh, it's messed up or you need to recolor it whatever you have this also I've noticed uh, they give you a spare uh, joints uh, which are great uh, these are for the shoulder this is for the waist and this is for the neck unfortunately they didn't give you uh, an extra for the wrist just in case you break them which is more than likely there's a high chance it's the ones that you swap out a lot. And I did realize still lately that I already have materia here that the joints, it's similar to Jinrai, that they already changed out. It's not that old style. <laughs> uh, also where the ball joint is attached and that wears off quite easily. So I didn't realize that they already changed that out. And I've built it. I've been working on a lot of and reviewing things that you sometimes forget <laughs> certain things till you rediscover them again, which is nice. Uh, moving on, I think that's it. Uh, let's take a look at the figure. I said it's a figure. It, it is a model kit. You have to assemble this, but after you built it, uh, it, it it does become a figure. It's quite nice. This is uh, unaltered, uh, meaning I didn't paint or line it yet. Uh, typically, from what I'm seeing so far, that you have to paint the backside right here. Uh, it's similar to materia where the black is not painted, so that needs to be done, and maybe a little bit of uh, that color there. And uh, they use the almost the same body. The only difference is the hair uh, hair piece here. All right, so uh, I'll eventually paint on that and maybe add a decal so decals are quite nice so for her different is we get the ponytail here it is on that joint so uh, be careful it's it's sturdy enough but you never know yep. and you can move this around uh, there is no other segment or joint uh, along the hair not that we need it, and probably it's best just yeah keep it straight like this. So, 
actually it's it's better on the left side we have this armor here which is just uh, pegged in you can put it here or you can put it basically where there's any peg connections I kinda like to put it in the bottom too so we're just gonna put there for now you can always swap it back later on then now uh, we have the shoulder here this thing is uh, kind of just goes in between the bicep so you can swivel that around you have fairly good uh, um, articulation and for the most part if you've seen other frame arms articulation it's the same then you have your elbow here all over 90 degrees then you have the, your wrist joints right there now going back here for the neck it's uh, double jointed for the base of the neck and on the base of the head there we go you get the waist here I think there is some I kind of forget how this thing is attached polycap right there you have plenty of polycaps so just in case they were out you can swap them out all right so uh, let me reattach this then you also have one on the waist so for the waist you have this uh, front skirt here which there we go I can't remember if I have to cut it in half sometimes you you do so that way you get uh, the separate articulation then you got that hinge mechanism on the back side there and there is another peg connection there which I can I shown in my materia so uh, this one it, it does tend to pop out since the the peg there is not long enough so what I have done is I always put like a collar of it's just basic paper clip I just uh, <clears throat> If this is a, the pliers I wrap it around one side first and kind of put it around there then that just kind of squeezes it in there you go. it's just a paper clip and that basically kind of push the poly cap upward a little bit all you need is as long as it's more than halfway to the poly cap it should hold and that will extend and get a better grip onto the waist there we go otherwise it does tend to pop out so that's a quick fix right there now for the waist here uh, there is a bit of a, like a sliding, uh, sliding mechanism here and uh, you have fairly good articulation as well there is a tendency to be loose though uh, like this side here uh, what I did is I had a little piece of uh, paper towel or napkin or even paper and just put it in between the joints that should help uh, give a little bit more friction uh, I usually use the <clears throat> what do you call this <laughs> the clear floor polish sometimes it works sometimes it does it and I think for this one it's just easier to put a little piece of paper towel yeah so there you go if you have loose connection just add a little piece you got swivel here on a tie and I just pop that off <laughs> All right, let me put this on there. Maybe I have to put another ring. Yeah. All right, there we go. Anyways, moving on. Now uh, we have the knee here, double jointed. You have this piece here, which is connected on the top side of the knee, which allows you to move it or, yeah. So it, that's quite nice that that's added there. Um, otherwise you have your ankle here it's in that joint and you can swivel it there and you can do a lot of cool poses uh, with this although I kind of wish there is a bit more on the ankle here because you tend to pop that out <laughs> yep really cool uh, mole kit Alright, so that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and attach a lot of accessories there. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> let's start swapping them out. So you just pop this out. Swap this. So this is the hand to hold the weapons. You do have another one. And you always get pairs. So you get the closed fist. Then you have this one, 
which I believe it's for pistols or whatnot, but you can also use this for pistol, but you can have this uh, pointing finger here. So you can use that as well. Actually, I found a good use for that one. Let's uh, try it out. So up here, you got to make sure it's all the way in. There we go. All right, so I'm still having a problem with the waist and I think I've kind of figured it out. So basically I was using a smaller paper clip, uh, this thickness, and this here is a jumbo paper clip. I would use a jumbo one. I tried doubling up with the small one, but I guess if you're too far out, um, if you're halfway, it's not gonna hold for the poly cap. And I think you need to be at least three fourths the way. And the jumbo, jumbo paper clipper uh, does the job. So, all we're gonna do is you basically, which I kind of explained beforehand, uh, just wrap this around your uh, pliers. There we go. Just enough. Uh, you may want to go with a bigger loop. There we go. Uh, that's probably good enough. And we're just gonna cut it. There we go. Now once you have that piece, and it's not gonna be perfect, it doesn't need to be. You can try. <laughs> Alright, so we, we're just gonna wrap this around here, and then we're gonna uh, pinch it, that way it will hold. There we go. Yeah, just close enough. I, mean, I should have cut uh, a bit less of it. There. That should be good. Now let's try this. Because it worked for materia, I was wondering how come it's not working for Jinrai. It's because I use a different paper clip. Alright, so there we go. It's a little hard to push that in. There is going to be a little uh, gap on the back, which you can see the paper clip, but that is fine. I know you would rather have a little bit of gap, fix the uh, issue. So, uh, hopefully it will stay there. There we go. And a few tests. That seems to be holding. Till that happens. <laughs> But I think it's it's a bit better, I would say. Yeah. Still an issue, and I wish they've uh, extend that joint. Yeah. Anyways, there we go. All right, so uh, getting back to the accessories, you get uh, the kunais or the ninja daggers. You get three of them. And I think this works well for this. You kind of loop around onto the thumb, and probably a good or the best hand to use this uh, for the kunais, basically. <laughs> so that's that. Um, otherwise, you have a wide variety of weapons. Let's uh, swap this out. I kind of like using the other. And. It's kind of hard sometimes to get the wrist joint popping off from the arm. Uh, where is that? Oh, here we go. All right. All right. So that did. <laughs> and you gotta be really patient with this kit. There we go. All right. Uh, there's two swords. Or actually, two two blades. They're actually not quite swords. Um, are they scimitars? I can't remember the name of the sword, but there we go. They kind of have the curved edge. We're just going to attach this here. I'm not sure if he, she holds it like this way or she holds it uh, this way. I guess you can go either way. Although the handle kind of seems like uh, it's the other way around. But the blade is right here though. 
So you can uh, do a build with that. Otherwise, uh, these are stashed in here with the blades outward. Same thing with this one here. And uh, you can attach this back here for what it was designed for. But again, uh, we have the freedom to put it wherever way we want. There's a great thing about frame arms. They're very modular. They have that, that 3mm peg connection, which is kind of standard for most of the connections. Alright, so that's that. Um, you have uh, this knife as well. It's like a kitchen knife. <laughs> you got this one too. Has that ring there. Uh, it looks like uh, it's a bayonet. So we probably affixed that to a rifle. Yeah, you get a combat knife here. I think. There's some, one iteration of that. You get this uh, blade too. Actually, there's four kunai. So I a couple more here. So there's three more. Or actually, no, that is three. Sorry. <laughs> I thought the, I was, or she was holding the fourth one. But there's only three. Uh, you got this giant uh, sword here. It's not quite a sword. It's it's not long enough, I would say. I mean, uh, and you have this one. This is a weird blade here. It looks like it's missing a tip, but uh, that's just the way it was. Um, then uh, you have this crazy contraption. Uh, so you have this, uh, let me just uh, have her stand here for now. Alright, so, so you have this long blade here. And uh, you have this uh, attachment, which is just a handle. And you have this one. This is for the blade. You can attach here, then you can attach it here. Now we have a a spear or yeah, really extended spear. You can have her hold it here. There's also an attachment right here. That way kind of gives her a little bit more control. I guess. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can put it on either side. So you can remove this one, and there's different attachment. Uh, you have this kind of like a, a sight here. And you can attach it at the end. Now it becomes uh, a sight. And it's good to have this. So you can rip someone out. Or you also have this uh, double blade. Kind of looks like a bow, but yeah, it's another weapon. Yeah. And I think that's it for the blades. So there is a lot of uh, contraption that you can do with this one. And probably other things that you can connect with this. So that's really cool. Now the other part is this one. Now you have... Kind of like your cannon. <laughs> so uh, this has an attachment on here on the other side. It just pegs in on, on the forearm. And there you go. You got your uh, little blaster here. And that kind of reminds me of uh, Kankali. <laughs> it's actually quite long. Uh, I think uh, Garai is a little shorter. But uh, yeah. You get that blaster there, and also there is uh, a mo or a setup that you can uh, detach, kind of uh, take this apart, and it's kind of stuck in place. But uh, take this out, the co uh, connections there, pry this out here. There's there we go, and pop this out and attach it this way. Actually, yeah, I think you just, uh, yeah, you flip it over, I think, or something. Bend this peg, uh, put it there. There we go. And you have this little attachment on the back side. This is the time where you want to just put this underneath or take it out. So uh, that's why I like to put it on, on the other side, or the legs. 
and you attach this here. Now you have a cannon uh, over your shoulder. Yep. That concludes the review for the Frame Arms Girl Jinrai. It's a great kit, lots of accessories, and it's quite amazing. Now, uh, there are going to be a couple more releases of Frame Arms Girls that are announced, which I'm excited for, and quite a bit of recallers. Now, they are going to reissue uh, kind of like a darker uh, or a black version. Actually, they call it Indigo. Maybe it's a, there's a hint of a... Uh, indigo has a little bit of a purple, you know, that certain color, purplish blue. <laughs> so that one, I'm kind of looking forward into getting as well. Um, I do make exceptions uh, in getting recallers. Because that uh, Jinrai does look like a ninja and... For me, ninja is supposed to have like a darker shade. I mean, there are red ninjas. There's also white ninjas, but <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be cool to, to have that indigo color. Anyways, uh, that's about it for this review. If you got questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meats. Thanks for watching.